bones are those particularly hard structures of the human body, made up of bone tissue, whose shape, density, and size vary according to the functions they must perform. Among these, we find protecting important organs, such as the brain, heart, and lungs, act as a deposit and reserve of many minerals, including calcium, phosphorus, sodium, and magnesium, as well as forming the skeleton, the scaffolding that supports our body, and that allows us to maintain an upright position and move freely. Bones, like any other tissue, organ, or system, tend to age, so over the years they undergo a loss of bone mass, thus increasing the risk of osteoporosis. It is a disease of the skeletal system, characterized by low bone mineral density and deterioration of the microarchitecture of bone tissue. The bones thus become more fragile and more subject to fractures, even following minor trauma. In the last video, which you can find by clicking above, we saw in detail what the treatment options for osteoporosis are. In this instead, we will see what are some foods that help strengthen bones and increase bone mineral density. Olive oil. Produced by the cold extraction of olives and its intense color ranging from dark green to golden yellow, olive oil is the cornerstone of the Mediterranean diet. Thanks to its content of antioxidant compounds, such as polyphenols, monounsaturated fats and vitamins, in particular vitamin E and small quantities of vitamin A, olive oil brings a series of significant health benefits. In fact, the incidence of osteoporosis and associated fractures appears to be lower in countries where the Mediterranean diet is predominant. Cellular, animal and human studies have shown that daily consumption of olives and olive oil improves bone health, prevents the decline of bone mineral density, and improves markers of bone turnover, thus protecting our skeleton from osteoporosis. A variety of polyphenols are found in olive trees, particularly in the leaves and fruits, as well as in olive oil mill wastewater as byproducts of olive oil production. Among these, we find olderopine, tyrosol, and hydroxytyrosol, which exert important antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, capable of increasing bone formation and inhibiting bone resorption suppressing oxidative stress and inflammation. According to the results of a Spanish study conducted on a sample of 870 people aged between 55 and 80 years at high cardiovascular risk, a greater consumption of olive oil reduces the risk of fractures related to osteoporosis by 51%. Milk and Dairy Products Dairy products are obtained from the processing of milk, such as cream, butter, yogurt, and cheese. Dairy products are an excellent source of proteins with high biological value, group B vitamins, but above all of calcium, an essential mineral for the health of bones and teeth, as well as for the contraction and relaxation of muscles, for blood coagulation, and for the transmission of nerve impulses. According to a study published in the Biomedical Journal, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, at all ages, calcium and proteins play a key role in bone health, particularly in the bone growth phase during childhood and adolescence, and in the preservation of bone strength and the prevention of osteoporosis in the elderly. Although studies supporting the beneficial effects of milk or calcium on bone health are predominant in the literature, some research has shown conflicting results, but with a number of limitations. In fact, the latest scientific review, published in Food and Nutrition Research, examining the best scientific literature available, reiterates the nutritional importance of milk and its protective role against the most widespread chronic diseases. Milk consumption from early childhood up to the age of 25, that is when peak bone mass is reached, is an important protective factor against osteoporosis. 
It is no coincidence that osteoporosis is defined as a pediatric disease with geriatric consequences. An individual who does not reach an optimal peak bone mass during childhood and adolescence may in fact develop osteoporosis without there being accelerated bone loss in adulthood. Even in the elderly, milk consumption helps, but with adequate supplementation. A good intake of dairy products, if combined with vitamin D supplementation, improves bone density of the spine and femur and is effective in maintaining bone mineral density at the vertebral level. In fact, the guidelines recommend consuming two to three daily portions of milk and yogurt and one to two weekly portions of 100 grams of fresh cheese or 50 grams of mature cheese. Turmeric Also known as Indian saffron, due to its bright yellow color, almost tending towards orange, turmeric is a spice obtained by cooking and drying the roots of the plant. Native to the areas of Southeast Asia and used for centuries in traditional cuisine and Ayurvedic medicine, turmeric is a spice rich in properties and beneficial effects on health. One of the components in particular present in turmeric has attracted the attention of the scientific community due to its anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-apoptotic properties. We are talking about curcumin, a polyphenolic compound that has shown protective effects against osteoporosis. This is because it intervenes in bone remodeling, that is in that continuous process of structural adaptation of the bone, in which the mature tissue is disintegrated by osteoclasts and then replaced by new bone tissue by osteoblasts. According to the results of some studies, Curcumin promotes the proliferation of osteoblasts and protects them from oxidative stress while simultaneously inhibiting the formation of osteoclasts. Curcumin is therefore considered a safe, new, inexpensive therapeutic agent with few side effects, so it could be a promising alternative therapy for the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis. In conclusion, to keep bones healthy and reduce the risk of osteoporosis, it is important to follow a healthy and balanced diet, as well as carry out regular physical activity and avoid tobacco smoking and alcohol consumption. It is good to remember, however, that it is during childhood and adolescence that the future of our bones is built, as it is precisely at that moment that the peak bone mass is reached. That is the maximum mineral density value. Therefore, it is of fundamental importance to educate children, adolescents, and their parents on the importance of healthy eating habits and lifestyles from childhood. This can significantly contribute to ensuring good bone development and reducing the risk of osteoporosis and other conditions related to bone health in adulthood.